Hi, welcome Dave. So just like you created media blocks and used them inside these stories, similarly you can create conversational forms. Conversational forms are basically the lead generation forms where you can collect any data from the users. So let's create a new conversational form. On this first step, you can give the name to your form. Currently it is default form, so I will rename it to lead generation form. Now I can add my fields which I want to collect uh, from my users like what's, uh, what's your name and here I can select the input types I have several different input types but for this I will select text let's make it required and then let's move to the next which is email my chat will ask what's your work email address and this way my chat will be collecting the email Let's make it required as well. If you click on the second setting call icon, then you'll be able to modify your error message and whether you want to store this data as a user attribute, you already saw that. Whether you want to uh, double confirm the submission or want to show a reference image along with the uh, collection. So I'll leave this as empty for now and let's move to the next step. On this step, you see a couple of options like font submit setting, basic setting, advanced settings, and then Facebook pixel integration. Let's focus on font submit setting for now. Once the chatbot has collected the data from your user, there are a number of things that you can do. First, you can enable this toggle button and integrate your Google spreadsheet so that you are collecting all the data in your uh, Google spreadsheet directly. Second, you can enable this email new responses. So as soon as your user will submit the data, you can send all these information to your email address. Third and the last option is you can integrate your JSON API endpoint, which is basically a middleware uh, webhook API. Uh, and you will receive all the data on this URL. And after receiving the data, you can reformat it to your desired target integration, such as CRMs. Let's integrate email for now. Moving to basic settings, where you can define what is the message that you want to send once the user exit the form. Uh, by exiting, we mean when the user leave the conversational form in the middle of the conversation. But let's turn this on so that we do not want to let the user exit the form in the middle of the data collection. Here, whether you want to allow multiple submission per user or not, or let the user edit the form submission or not. In the advanced setting, you define what you want to send to your user once the data has been collected. So let's uh, say thanks for submitting short information. That's it. Let's move to the next step. The last step is where you can configure the question or the keyword at which you want to trigger this form. I will not trigger it as it is, so I will say I will use with the button. Now let's create a new story and use this conversational form inside this story. My user will say I want to register and let's add a similar phrase like I want to apply. My chatbot can say okay, please fill the information to When this is done, on the left hand side I can choose whether I want to store the form collection or the data collection for him and choose from the drop down list. I'll not check this as an option, but feel free to try this and see the difference. I'm saving my story and let's try this in my chat box. In my chat box, let's try it and say, I want to apply. Now, my chatbot sent me this message and it start collecting the data from the user. My end user will submit his name like Sama. My chatbot will be asking to submit the email address. And after I have completed my submission, my chatbot will be sending me the completion message as well as will be sending an email with all the data it collected on my email address. So let's take a look at that. 
So here it is. So you see the name of your conversational form, you see the name of your chatbot, and also you will see the data chatbot collected. And you will also see the name of the user who submitted this data. And this is the internal naming of what Boxify gives to each individual user. In case of website users, it's usually anonymous, but we'll see in the bonus sections how you can collect the real user names from the, your website visitors. So now let's move to the bonus part. So once you have collected the data using story, I want to tell you how you can collect the data in the form of the media block. Let's move to the media block and edit this media block we created in our last video. So let's say we want to collect the name and email of the people who click on this button of buy now. So let's go and create a new plugin. And here you see the data collection of form. Let's use it and call this name as buy now. And let's select the form we just created, lead generation form, and edit. After, after this is done, let's save our media block. Let's try this story in our test chatbot window. So you see by now, if I click on this, my chatbot will start collecting the information from your user. Submitting my name and email address. And the same thing happens that the chatbot gives me the ending message or the completion message. I would say feel free to customize your chatbot conversational forms and make sure that you try out the completion message or completion flow where you can integrate different media blocks and different stories, not just the text message. So that would allow you to continue on your conversation to a different story if the user has submitted the information. So I hope you like the video. See you in the next video.